This is the Center for Research in Igbo History and Culture. Today is Saturday, the 20th of March, 2021. And um, I have with me here at a rehouse some remarkable young people doing some extraordinary things for society. It's my pleasure to present to you Ms. Diamond Chinasa Madisife of Diamond Everest Initiative. Diamond, you are welcome to Erie House. Thank you. Can you would you kindly introduce your friends to us? My name is Uche Udefe. I'm from Ugunonwe in Anambra, is located in this. Uche Udefe? Yes, sir. Okay, Udefe, you're a relative of that Umweri mm -hmm. talkative, Julius. Mm -hmm. Julio. I don't know. You are his wife? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know him? Okay. But you talk? I understand that all of them were stuck a lot. But to me, I don't have the strength to talk. You don't have the strength to talk. Praise God. Yes. But we are here to talk. I will manage. I speak with you. Or you will pay me to talk for you. I don't have the money. <laughs> Praise God. You are welcome to the house, Uche. Yes. And sir, there we are. Come to the house, Mr. Chibuza. Comrade Emeka Sylvester Chibuza, you are welcome also. And you are all from uh, Diamond Everest Initiative. What is Diamond Everest Initiative about? Um, Diamond Everest Initiative is an NGO um, that organizes um, empowerment program. Get Child Program, um, Drug Abuse Program, um, all around the non governmental organization. Diamond Everest Initiative, Initiative is an NGO. Yeah, it is. An NGO. Okay, and you advocate for Girl Child Program, Girl Child, yeah. Drug Abuse. Okay. We try to cope drug abuse, the menace of drug abuse. In Nigeria. Okay. That's nice. I, I would like to congratulate you on that wonderful program you just had. Thank you. I, I was really inspired. I was touched, inspired. And I know that a lot of people that were there, yeah. you know, they were blessed. Yeah. It was a, a good program. And uh, I pray that uh, God will help you to continue to do a good work. Do you plan to do more of such programs or was it just a one-off thing? No. Um, actually, it's a long time, it's a long time goal. It's not something you just do and drop. Um, we plan having it, not just this seminar, but it's a long time, like um, in five years to come, we, we, we want to make a, a Omambala a free um, drug free drug, drug zone. free community. At least we are targeting Omambala from Omambala we can now go to Anambara, then maybe to the eastern part of the country. Wow, that's that's quite a big vision. Anambra is not a small area. No. And they are talking about uh, from the whole of Omambala region. Yeah. That's uh, uh, um, Anambra East Anambra government East area. Amelum, and Amelum. West, then local About four local governments. Yeah. That's a lot of work. And you are even thinking beyond that to yeah, the exactly. whole of Anambra yeah, State. Uh, do you really think you can cope with that much work? Definitely we can. Mm. Definitely we can. By the grace of God. Praise God. Mm. I pray God will help you Amen. to do it. Can you tell us uh, a little about the program you just had? Okay. Um, the program is tagged Umwe Say No to Drug Abuse. Um, 
basically we discovered that um, drug um, our younger ones are actually going into drug abuse um, there is this popular one they call Olomini is gradually taking um, the minds of our young people so we decided to step in to know what to do about it so that we will we'll have a good future generation of Omeri. So it's, it's about drug yes, it's a, abuse. Yes, it's about drug abuse. Mm. I've heard so much about this Olomili. What is it really? What is it really about? Okay. Olomili seed of uh, water. Water, water seed. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the, that name is actually gotten from how it's been taken. Um, how it's been taken is that they get a cake, um, put a water to maybe like half of it. Then um, Piers wants part of the, the keg, cover the, the mouth of the keg with foil paper, then put the substance on it, then light it and start inhaling it. The substance is actually a combination of so many um, chemicals put together. Then it comes out in a stone, a kind of solid stone, something like that here. Yeah. So the name is being gotten from how it's been taken. So they now inhale this uh, cocktail, inhale they, 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 a cocktail of chemicals. Yes. They yes. mix one, two, three chemicals, different chemicals. Yes. So the name is not actually Ulumili. That substance is being um, used to um, preserve dead bodies. So they add some... Formalin? Yes. Yes. They inhale formalin? Apart from formalin, they add other strong, strong chemicals in it and it comes out in, in a solid form. And they begin to inhale and this? they begin to inhale it. Wow. So that's what they call mbulumili? Mbulumili, yes. So uh, this is the drug they take? Yes. Any drug. other is just this? Is, it, is, it, is the problem limited to this? Mm, yes, of course. We have the one they call marijuana, the one they call Ibo. Yes. It's actually a problem too. Um, you find out that the younger ones, they just smoke it around the corner without minding that anybody, maybe the security men are watching them or maybe the NDA are watching them. They just take it, not minding what will happen, not knowing that they are destroyed. You mean they take it in the open? They in the open, yes, they do. They do. Even the Ukulun Mili, they don't bother, they don't care. They just do it the way they want. So how much of a problem would you say this is? Uh, how, how serious is the problem? It's serious. It's serious. From our data collection, um, um, if it then were particularly, we we'll have 178 persons that are into it already. 178? persons. Only if it then, from our data collection. So you can see it's a very serious problem. It's a very, very serious problem. So we really need to do something about it. So now, how would you, uh, what is the range, the age uh, bracket that is affected? Is it something that, that goes across all ages or is it uh, uh, limited to a particular age grade? Painfully, painfully, 13 years old takes it in one way. 13 years old? Yes, painfully. So it cuts across all ages, not minding if you are a child or you are an adult. So what, what is the effect it's now having on the, on the community? How are, they able to, how are they able to do this and cope with school, for instance? Okay, um, our target for now is for those that are not taking it, for those that might be willing that are willing and saying, okay, but for those that are depressed, that are saying, okay, this thing might calm my nerves. So that is our goal. Oh, the problem is, I don't really know how to say it, but it's somehow worrisome. Very worrisome. So what, what would you say are the factors that encourage the incidence of this uh, alcohol calamity? Laziness, not thinking how to create. That is basically the cause of it. Laziness. Our people need to improve. Our people need to think outside the box. 
particularly laziness. They don't think, they don't want to create, they want to wait for, they want to wait for someone to come and do for them, they want to wait for Igwe to come and do for them, they want to wait for the UGA to come and do for them, they want to wait for the government, they don't want to create. So they just indulge, they just feel, I am depressed, since nobody wants to do it for me, I am depressed, so let me just, while away, let me just think, think this thing and be, be, be good. Are you saying that depression is a factor in uh, causing people to fall into this it's drug a major, abuse? It's a major factor. It's a major factor. How does that work? How 